one talk about you know millennials and Gen Z's and how millennials are no how Gen Z's are really different like they think differently what's what's your opinion about Gen Z like in general like when you meet a Gen Z person how did it come off like for you okay so for me this Gen Z generation um I think they are mostly smart that we are. They are very smart. Yeah, we are. I, 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 I think it's based on the fact that we are more modernized now, like computerized. So they are more diffused in terms of the tech. So they are very smart. If you, if you, if you try to outsmart a Gen Z, you you be surprised because they have about ten or several ways to outsmart you. So I think they are they are they are the smartest generation we have so far. Yeah, it doesn't are. mean they are, they are. I'm talking, I'm, I'm talking about flowers. smart. I'm not talking about knowledge and movie moment. I'm talking about smart. But we are like heavy beings. That's what you think, but you are not really that good. But in terms of attitude and how we do things, what, like, what's your general very, knowledge? Do you think? Yes, Gen Z's are very. I rather feel I think, like we are more outspoken. No. In terms I, of, like, you see, when you want to, like, bring out something, we don't really not like we don't we don't care like we are not intimidated by whoever or wherever we are we yeah. just like you know talk okay and yes. we say our minds yes. and I that's think, intimidating so that is, to you no that is not intimidating i think that is the problem we have with the gen z generation we are not allowed to say what we want no you are allowed to say what you want it is how you say it is the problem you understand you think how they we term, say this bad yes they, they tend not to think about it really deeply before they voice it out. Like Are you, you sure? said, yes, I'm very positive about that. Like you said, unlike the millennials, okay, we were brought up in a way that before you even open your mouth to talk, you need to think of what you're trying to say. Okay. We almost look at our atmosphere before we even voice out. So the person we are talking to, the the at that particular moment, whatever situation, we, we, we tend to think about all those things before we even open our mouth to talk. I, Compared to a Gen okay. Z, Gen Z just doesn't, excuse me to say, it doesn't give a F about wherever the surrounding, whatever the situation is. And that's why people think you are more like outspoken. No, it's sometimes it's, it's, it's just rude. Okay. Thank you for bringing up, like, growing up and stuff. Because I want to ask, do you think that growing up as a Gen Z is totally different from growing up as a millennial? Okay. Yes, totally. And you think that, but these are the same people, like, your parents trained you and you are training the Gen Z's, and these Gen Z's are, like, growing up. Or maybe if you are not the ones training the Gen Z's in any way. Like, we are, like, just, like, a few years apart or something. So if you guys are saying that we are rude or we are not, you know, the way we are supposed to be, we are brought up differently, I want to ask, do you think that the way we were brought up is different, entirely different from the way millennials were brought up? Yes, I think it is totally different. The reason why I say that is, you know, we are coming from a generation where we were raised to um, know how to talk to our elders. Do mm-hmm. you understand? Know what to wear outside. Are we? Understand? So you're saying we are not respectful? No, I'm, let me let me finish that. I'm trying to make a point. Yeah, Do I just understand? want to be clear. Yeah, I'm trying to make a point. Where we were raised in we were given a culture where at the end of the day you need to be very well equipped let me put it that way before you step out or before you even do something do you understand what i'm saying now gen z is the generation where more like the world is already more kind of developed before you were brought up okay so training them was was quite very difficult but very simple do you understand we were the generation where they tell you that spare the rod and then spoil the child. Do you understand? So when we do something, your mother can slap you in front of the crowd or wherever. They don't care. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But the Gen Z were brought up in a way that you can't even beat your your child outside when he's misbehaving or she's misbehaving. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Even right now, I was told right now, even there are some schools or schools are not even using canes. Yeah. Do you understand? In no, way back, allowed to hit the child. Exactly. Way back from our generation, who are you? You understand know what I'm saying? If they are not disciplining you in the house, when you get to the school, they discipline you. 
But aren't the same people? The same people are the ones who pass through this hitting, hitting stuff, and they didn't like it. So they are the ones now training the child not to like. It. You see, because they say if you hit a child too much, the child now becomes accustomed to. It becomes used to the beating. So it's no longer a case of like I'm beating a child. You need to talk to the child. So then it's more like you guys went through that and you are now like, nah, that's not the way to go. We have to treat people differently. And that is the mistake that we are making. You understand well, what I'm saying? Uh, because we went through that because we felt like we were being, um, how do I put it? Like we were being too harsh. More us. treated. You understand? Kind of more treatment. We went through that. Day. But we grew up and realized that those were the best times in our life. They were the trainings that we actually needed because we grew up and realized that you know those things actually build us to be a very different kind of generation. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So we didn't want our people or the next generation to go through that same point of treatment. But you're seeing but the implications of it. You right? understand. So at the end of the day, right now we are getting to know that we not putting the next generation through that process. Mm-hmm. It's actually changing a whole lot of things. Do you think we should go back to the way you guys were treated? Trust me. But don't you think that we should rather blend it? The blending will work. You understand? Yeah. But the question here is now is that how many people will be able to blend to such treatment or such process that we we, was way back? How many people will go through that? You know, the world is developing. We are not saying, we are not saying whatever treatment we went through was the best. Mm-hmm. You understand, but we are saying that it actually built us into some particular capacity that today it is okay. You know but me saying? doing, I feel like it's sometimes it's not even about the treatment. Sometimes it's just how the people are, because it's like almost all Gen Zs have like the same mentality. Yes, that's because I don't know. Like so I'm it's saying, not really like I'm, see those we, we we were brought up in houses that you know our we had only one TV in the house. The whole neighborhood will come to will go to one particular person's place to go and watch television. But we are in a generation where almost every household is having a television. And sometimes how to even pull them out. And of even the in people's rooms, they yes, that's what I'm saying. How to even pull them even out of the television is very difficult. You understand? But in our generation, we had that kind of respect. We had time. So you see that as respect. That's re- the reason I'm using that as respect, because we have time. Your parents can determine the time you sit in front of watch the the hours you sit in front to watch you know what do, do, they do but how 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 effective is that right now most of the gen z's you can't even tell them not to sit in front of the computer to watch and every gen z that i know is glued to a mobile phone growing up we didn't even know what to call mobile i mean you know you can see mobile phone but before you even see someone holding one it means the person has money yeah, yeah just I'm, saying. I, I I'm, I'm saying all this because you see, you see, during our time or during our, uh, our generation, it was very difficult to get access to this kind of thing. So we had interest in certain things. We gave respect to certain things. You understand? Now it is very common. You understand? So the Gen Zs are more glued to those things, and it becomes very difficult to even handle or even try to shift them from those kind of things. You know what tech, basically, what you're saying is technology is spoiling us. I wouldn't say that. Technology is very good. Technology has really improved the world. You understand? Especially the AI. You understand? It is it is improving the world. We need to stay, uh, like continue going forward. We need to improve upon a whole lot of things. You understand? So technology is very good. You understand? So I wouldn't say technology has spoiled any generation. Yeah. But what I'm saying, I'm using that as... A point of view or a point to say that you know back then we are just talking about gen z and the yeah. so just to differentiate a little bit from them these are some of the things that in our days we were not doing but in their days they are doing you understand and this is what is causing some of the societal problems and some of this kind of ban- that this, this is some of the things so in terms of education how different do you think we are uh education i think you guys are going through the easy process of education. What do you mean by easy? Right now, you can go on YouTube, you can go to any site, and then you learn things. You get to, you, you can basically learn everything online. You know what I'm saying? You can choose not to even go to school, and then you can apply online, and then you get a certificate for that. Mm-hmm. Our time, it was nothing like that. You can go, the, the, only, the only option you have is go to school. 
You know what I'm saying? And we only know of private schools that the rich, only the rich go. So about, I can tell you that about 90% of people of our generation, they were going for a public school. You understand? Just the few that went for private school. And we could always identify them when we see them. Yeah. You understand? But right now, about 75% are already going for private school. How many people? Because it's not like schools? really expensive. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just giving you a So we had those years. days, those days we write on, on board shop, we use those blackboards, you understand. Then these are now using marker and all this kind of thing. So some of them have not even had the experience of chalk. You know oh, what I'm saying? I did. You did, but some didn't. You know what I'm saying? Some did didn't. It. Some did, they don't even know what is called for them. Come on. I'm telling you. We are on social media, we know what called is. Some people don't know. We do, know, but we do. Know. Like, so that's what I'm trying. So even Gen Alpha, some of them will. Those people don't don't let's, let don't let us talk about. They, they those who are even worse. Don't don't let us talk the about. The generation after you, after you, after you <laughs> they are even worse. They are why even why worse. do you think they are worse? I, I have like, one in my house. Okay. And trust me, my kid brother is just a problem. But why do you think that things are changing? Because I'm sure if we speak to um the is it Gen X or something, the generation before you yeah. millennials. They'll also say that you guys are different from every them. generation is different. Yeah, why and do you think so? Yeah, because every generation comes with their own um, how do I say their own problems and their own steps and their own process. You know what I'm saying? Every generation tries to be better than the than next generation. The, yeah, so when you you're, when you're saying that um it's like we are learning from your mistakes. No, if you say yes, if you say you are learning from our mistakes, I will agree with you on to a certain point, and I will not agree with you to it. The reason why I say the Gen Z, the reason why people will come from see this generation, I say Mati from Masu, like you are, you are just on become. I don't know how to put that. How do you say it in Chi? Like people are just crazy. Let me just put it that way. Hey, <laughs> like why shut up? Let me, off. let me just put it that way. Like this generation, eh, people are just crazy, and. The reason why I say I keep saying people are just crazy is that you see, it feels like people have the the free will to do anything at all that you want to do because, because we are confident and we are not. No, you see, don't head. don't apply to those things. Millennials are also very confident in people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you are, like, but like we, it's like we were brought we up. are learning from you guys. Yes. So we if you guys are fifty percent confident, then we are going to learn to be like eighty percent, ninety percent confident. So if we are fifty percent confident. And you people are 90, yeah, let's say 75%. Okay. Confident. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you know, your confidence level, that 75% confidence, is based on just, excuse my language again, stupid things. At the end of the day, what is, what is the, what, what is the, like, what's the impact? What do you mean by stupid things? I'll, I can give you a very simple example. A Gen Z can come and start in front of social media and expose themselves by. Oh please! Oh please! That's please! Very, please, 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 please! It applies to every generation. It does. Which generation? Millennials. Oh please! That's not, that is not really. Really? See, I'm telling you that that generation. Eh, we were brought up in a, before we before they even do something. They think. But why do you? Why, why would you, you say like expose us in how? That is how you people you are. Expose and no expose us in how. That, so that's what I'm like saying. Like bikini or like everything. So you see. Those days, because I don't get it. So let me let me give you a, let me give you a simple example. You see, those days, can a typical millennial or let's say our generation, can you step out of the house mm, wearing something that is exposing even your belly? Oh, you guys do. No, then, then I'm sorry. No. Crop top started from you guys. No, no, come on. Ah, they will beat you. Your, the your mommy, is. your mommy said no go allow you. Their parents, they no go allow you. Ah, no, what I'm trying to tell you is, when, when did they come? That song, see, when did they come? Now that song, no, that, that, see, that, that time. I think they were doing in no, those music videos. I'm, I'm, see, those times were, the time that we started copying the out, like, uh, the out west, the west people, we started copying their behavior, we started copying. Yes, yeah, so you guys copied and brought it, and we said, okay, even those you guys have brought it, let's do it. You understand what I'm saying? Those days, the baggy things that we wear, things even cover, we wear baggy things. And that's what I'm telling you that, before you could even step out, or those kind of dressing were coming from those kind of rich people in their house. So where did you know we see? Saying? Where did we see the exposing dresses from? You guys came with your own kind of dress. 
So you think God just dumped us? I'm telling you, you guys just came with your own oh, dress. Please. I'm telling you the truth. You guys came with because some of the dresses or some of the way you go. Yeah, the fashion is evolving. So people come up with ideas and because we are there, you know, those days people choose to have those ideas. And then you see, no, you see, I'm not I'm not disputing the fact that fashion is evolving. I'm just stating an example. Because let me let me also land because if so come for you. <laughs> so I'm just saying that because fashion is evolving and everybody is bringing their ideas to life, it's easier now because of social media. So everybody, almost everybody, sees it. But you see, those days you guys didn't really, you guys weren't really exposed, arguably, exposed to social media. So then, even if I have an idea and I'm working on this dress and all of that. You here might not have it. Do you guys know now that Sheen, there's Fashion Nova, there's all of those things. You go and see a dress you like. Do, then do you, you guys know buy. the essence of social media? Tell us. Do, do you know the essence? No, tell you are, us. You are, you are, you are on social media. Do you know? Do you think the essence of social media was they created social media for you to come and stand in front and expose yourself and all those things? Obviously not, but it's just. That's what I'm saying. So you that guys have changed. Even in real life, life. That's what I want you to understand. You guys have changed. I don't I don't I would not agree if you see people are because they are genuinely very good people. Oh no, I'm, I'm also not associated yes, I'm saying, to all Gen Z. Yes. That's what I'm saying. I'm only trying to tell you. I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm making I'm trying to make a point. You understand? So are you so, if you're saying exposing, I'm trying to get you because if you are trying to say exposing, are you saying Ira Star Ira Star kind of sh- kind she's of not scared? Gen Z. Yes, she is. Are you saying Ira Star kind of scared? Tio Savage also wears shorts. Come again? Tio Savage also, that's it. Compare her dressing to Ayasa and then you can see the difference. There's no difference. What no difference? What are you trying to tell? Then you don't know Almost that. Almost if you know, I'm saying, you don't like, you can't say that only Gen Z is wearing shorts. And you see, and if we can't even use them because at every day, I can tell you that they, they are entertainers. Yeah. So we can't even use so them. Even so basic. as entertainers, they are, they are, they are, that is, it's part of their craft. Yeah, so which saying. people are, are you not talking about go, 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 go. so that's what i'm, I'm i see I, I told you that i'm trying to take it and the point i'm making is you see because i don't see what you i don't no. see what he's saying oh i'm like everybody in this room i'm i don't see no because what, you're what you are saying no because you're because is this and same people that always... leave their parents house i'm sorry but they leave their parents house with those same dresses and their parents don't say anything and their parents are millennials so if my parents are seeing this and i come and post it on social media What's your argument? So, so you're you are saying because their parents are millennials and they don't say it, you think they're okay with that, or you no. think that gives you the right to go out like that? I'm saying, what's your? So own that's argument? what you see. I was trying to make a point for you to understand. The point I was because trying to you, make you understand. Because if you claim is, you guys are different, you guys are no, this, you so guys that's are not exposing. You guys are the same people training this, this Gen if it's, I totally disagree with you. You can't tell me that millennials are training. Uh, they are they are training Gen Z. I Why? totally I totally disagree with you. How many millennials are parents now? Can you, can you give me a, a, a fact? But even How if you're not a parent, no, you have a I'm, millennial I'm, I'm sister, to. you have a millennial brother. So that's what I'm saying. That I'm trying. Brother. So you can't tell. So you can't even tell the difference from their houses. If you compare your millennial sister to your Gen Z sister, you can always tell the difference. Really? You can always tell the difference. Hey, you then can me, I'm not seeing difference. what you are seeing. Because you're a Gen Z. You understand? Because you're a Gen Z. And you see, at the end of the day, no. <laughs> it's like you even want you to see? do cool for me. Oh, like, no, it's not nobody gets your time. But what I'm trying to do, is see, oh, really? I'm only, oh, come on. I always keep saying, I don't get time to give Gen Z. So. And the reason why I say that is simple, okay? Their generation is, 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 they have a very natural superpower. Let me put it that way. Mm-hmm. I look at Gen Z and then sometimes I'll be like, see, these people are doing so much, okay? We are and, doing so well. And I'm saying they are doing so much. That so much could be negative. That so much could definitely be definitely positive. positive. You understand? Because at the end of the Period. day, at the end of the day, no. I'll come back and I'll tell you that. See, the reason why we are so different from you people is, at the end of the day, you see, you will not see a typical millennial doing certain things that a Gen Z will be doing. What you can are agree the with me. Things? You can. Ag- I just gave you an example. You are just refusing to understand that. The dresses, okay, I was telling you, the dress another, so I, I was telling you that another see, example. way back we couldn't even step out of our house dressing anyhow. Before you even do that, we put the things inside our bag, we hide it from our parents. When we get to what we are going to do, before we can even dress or put that in on, you dare not to leave your father's house or your parents' house dressed anyhow. You see this kind of tattered jeans that they, ah, 
in your father's house, you can't do that. You can't even stand in front of a, an elderly person and exchange words with the person, no matter how right you think you are. I'm just trying to make a point. We were brought up in that way to always have that kind of um, higher respect for our elders. And not just our elders, but anything we come across with. The, this generation, the generation is not like that. And that's why when you when you were using the word outspoken, I always keep saying that. That is what you are a genius, so you use that word. Yeah, I feel like it's more you understand? outspoken. Yeah, because confident. you are a genius, but you use that word. But you see. But if it comes to disrespect, this is like no, disrespect. No, I mean, that's what I'm saying. So you see, a Gen Z can argue with somebody in a in a public transport and say whatever he or she wants to say to the person without giving excuse me the f word. You understand what I'm saying? A millennial can never do that. I'm not saying they don't do that. Some of them do that, but a typical millennial cannot do that. Why? Because of the fact that we were brought up from a generation where, see, even in the like I stated earlier, even in the in the midst of your parents, they can slap you. When you misbehave, they don't care whether you are you are grown, you are married or not. Those days, even when you are married, your your father and your mother even still have authority over you to even tell you when you are fooling. But right now, how many generations? Like right now, like how many people can you even when, when they even they've not even gotten married? The moment they cross the 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 ages of eighteen or twenty, you can't even control them anymore. Are you saying eighteen? I'm mean, so you so you <laughs> so you no because it's no. it's becoming like. People should be left to be independent. There's no doubt about that. But what I'm because you guys is, claim that you you don't you didn't really enjoy how you were treated that, or that's how the, you were parented. Yes, and at the end of the so day, so if you guys are saying I'm sorry, but if you are saying that, let's say I give you banku, you don't like banku, I'm giving you spark, and you are even, saying see, that even if we are talking about social media, we are talking about influencers today. Those influencers. The millennial influences and then the uh, what's the name? The Gen Z influences. You can always tell them. How? When they're online. How? I don't want to be mentioning you, but if I'm to mention it, you tell can, you can always compare. You can always compare Pudu Sheldon to this guy. Uh, what's the name of this guy? Bobo, I guess. But they are two different people. They are two different generation. Oh no! Who you know what I'm saying? Yes, it's even Gen Z. Bobo, I guess. I know it. But see, they are two I'm different just, people. I'm just see. I'm only trying. Pudu Sheldon to see. is um. He's, see, he's a YouTuber, right? Yes, but what I'm saying, but he's also an influencer. What I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to oh, say. Oh no, Bunga like, Idea is not like. No, 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 no. What I'm, you I'm can't only compare stating, the I guess, two of them. Really? So you, you no, can always. Bunga so Idea is to, Twitter. So, so, so who do you want to I compare? I mean, X, right? So who do you want to and compare with? Who do you want to compare with? Who is you? Can you ask, what what YouTube? Do you There's so with? many uh, agencies that are YouTube. Okay, you can compare Kojo Sheldon to the guy that's always making headlines. The YouTube guy. Which guy? Um. No, 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 About not who? him. I, I don't even think that guy is even a Gen Z guy. No, he's millennial. Yes. But not him. The one that speaks tree. He speaks tree. A lot of people speak tree. No, but you. He has a baby mama. She's a makeup artist. I don't know. But what I'm trying to say is that. See, oh, you don't know. He, see, you see. It's not on Coco Sound. The other no, one. No, you see, even. Good to even compare on certain things. You realize that anytime they oh, are on social media, those guys you realize that anytime they are on social media and then they even want to say something. If if when they oh, you, always has you can always com- like you can always compare. Oh, you see, I'm only trying to give you, I'm only trying to give you something to to. Yes, Zion Felix. Ah, but Zion Felix is not weird. Yeah, but I'm saying. No, I'm saying. But Zion Felix is Could you shout in? I'm to, I'm 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 comparing a millennial and then a Gen Z who are who are both influencers. So you can compare. You understand what I'm saying? Zion Felix is not a Gen Z. I'm only trying Whatever. to state. Uh, geez, I'm only trying to state something for you to understand here. You understand what I'm saying? That you see, there's always a vast difference between the two generations. And some In of how this, they create content. Thank you. And some of this these things are publicly known. You can you can you can always pinpoint it. You can always pinpoint it. You understand? Now I'm not saying that all Gen Zs are not. So you're saying, you're saying that you are saying that us knowing our rights and doing what we do. Uh, why? Why? Why do you always? No. Why do you always want to? Um, how do I like transform? When I, when you want to make a point, you you try to make it seem as if like it is a positive thing that you are saying. Nobody is saying that. You you it's transform it. Oh. I don't see how knowing your right is is you it's think, disrespectful. Ah, no, you think knowing your rights uh, is is not having any form of 
angle where disrespect is also is also yes. included. So that's why so, I so always said talking, that. No, I want you to know. I want you to understand talk. something. I don't let you talk. Yeah, you that's see, why anyways, I also this said is, this that. This is the problem that you you have. <laughs> so you think at the end of the day, you know, you can just pick a word and then you tell it, then you think it is positive. It's not everything that comes from Even this guy will tell you that you you are in Ghana. You think you have right, but sometimes the rights can they they, they, they can show you where your rights lies. But listen, they can make you understand where your rights lie. You can't just choose say, okay, because I have rights, so I can just say anything. Okay, that is the difference. That's the problem. What you think? No, you think down. because We're you can fight talk anyhow. Nobody is fighting with you. I'm only trying to make a point. And the point I'm trying to make, you know, I don't want you to always try to um, make it seem like positive way. Because when you make it seem like positive way, you 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 are trying to make the whole thing like at the, at the end of the day, everything you guys are doing and it's not good that like what are talking about. Calm it's actually positive. It's not positive. At the end of the day, you see, and this is the problem why, the, I always keep telling that the reason why I like Shudu, uh, Kudu Sheldon so much is because at the end of the day, you know, the guy can come and sit in front of cameras and he will speak the truth. And people tend to be like, to see that as arrogant. It's not arrogant. We are, we are coming from a generation where we will tell you the truth. And when we tell you the truth, so we don't we say the truth. Oh, you people, you people, you say a different thing, and when they are trying to put you on the right path, you come back and say, "Say because you know you're right." You understand what I'm saying? What what kind of right is that? Calm down. I mean, disrespect is disrespect, regardless. I have said it. So you think? Thing. So no. So you think? Disrespect so you think? Is so you think? But if you are, you are outside, trying like, to deny me of my right. What right? That's what I want to get. What right? The right is that you can wear anything have, out of your house to, to step no, out. You I call have, that right? I have a right to post a big anything I want to. Nobody is disputing my right. the part on that. No, so it's, it's your right. not Nobody your pee to come and We are only trying to say, say that. that I'm not so, supposed to post so or I'm not supposed to wear something I want to wear and come out of my house. That is not, that's not your so, business. So that's what I'm saying. So that is the difference. It's I'm like saying that, sorry to use this example, but it's like saying that an excuse for a man raping someone is because she was in short dress. That's no excuse. The person is see, in his and house. You, and where you take it there? You see, now you are jumping from A to Z. No, you I'm not. Just no, that no, no, wait. You can't I'm use that as an example. That no, if you, use, own, if you use that I as an example, you are going right, out of the box. I have the right. That's why I said sorry for using that example. But I have the right to post whatever in terms of. And I'm saying that, let's say, the torture example you gave us is arguing with the person. Maybe you are sitting down and the person. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to, like, you know. Give the say something for the respect. No, yes, wait. I'm not, really I'm not trying. To, I'm it. not trying to say something for the respect. But sometimes, you know, adults can be also disrespectful. Sometimes, no doubt about that. So you just need to stand up for yourself. If nobody is going to stand, because if you want to talk about something, then they'll say, "Oh yeah, call out to keep quiet." So why so, don't you keep quiet? No, sometimes it's just so too is, much. This is, what I, this, this is what I'm trying to get. This, this is what I'm trying to stay for you. No, to sometimes it's just too much when people are so doing things. No. They are older. So you should know better. Day, no. But you, so, you listen will to be That's doing certain that. things. You see, if you were listening to what I'm saying, you would have understood. You wouldn't have even given this example. Because what I'm trying to say is that we you are coming make, from a generation. You're just trying to make no. every millennial good. No, I don't mean rather. I'm, what I'm trying to let you understand that we are coming from a generation where it doesn't matter. Or you guys are always right. That's how you people behave. You guys are always right. Blah, blah, blah. No, nobody is right. At Whatever the, you say, it's fine. At the end of the day, no. We, that's the funny thing. We, we don't even say anything that comes Because we're out from that right. saying, um, um, the truth. Why, why don't you just let me make the point I'm trying to the, make? The, um, hey, wait. The, um, the older person is always right. You, you're not exactly always right. So the older person is not always right. The problem with you people is that, like I stated, you people don't respect. And the reason why I'm saying that, like, don't I will not allow you say no, no. Listen, calm down. I will not allow you say that because in every like they say in every house there's always a is it a cat or something? There's always like someone different. So if you've met like a disrespectful Gen Z, that that is absolutely absolutely fine. But. Oh, and that's, that is what I'm trying to let you people understand. You see, don't mind me on that. But that's what I'm trying to let you understand. You see, we are coming oh, from mind a generation. You. Don't worry, we'll fight after this. We show. are coming from a generation where, see, it, it, it didn't matter whether what you are coming to say is right or not. You just but that keeps open. hurting people. <laughs> just talk. You see, and this is the difference I'm trying to state. You understand what I'm saying? We are coming from a generation where. You just can't afford to interrupt when your parents are talking mm -hmm. or where, where the elders are talking. It is them as disrespect. You understand? 
it doesn't matter whether what you are coming to say is the right thing or not. So far as the people are elders, you need to listen to them first. Yes, I agree with you. There are, there are stages or there are times where the elders are like, no, this is not making any sense. You understand? But you can't open your mouth and tell the person that this is not making any sense. Do you understand what I'm saying? You can't say that. The best, the best example that you are trying to say, I was really hoping you go, you go further for it to say. It. Like, simple. We are coming from a generation where, see, when we are seated and an elderly person comes into the bus, you know what I'm saying? You don't even need to even, the elderly person doesn't even need to open their mouth and go. We have to get out. Yeah, I get you. But you... We have to get out for the person to sit down. Do you know what I'm saying? Now, the person can even come and even talk to you rudely. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me talk. Rudely. Oh, I have to so when I enter, I say, you know, this kind of thing. See, you can always talk. But you have we have that kind of limit of making sure that the person we are talking to is an early person. So we don't end up disrespecting the people. I mean, to be in a trusty whereby you, you have this kind of, there's this kind of people um, debating or maybe there's an argument. Yeah. See, when you listen to the argument, you can actually tell that maybe what the guy, the small uh, person is saying actually makes sense. But the elderly person is not making sense. So. But the facts say, oh, yeah, elderly person. You have people in the buses but why telling you, say, so? hey, boy, dear. You see, and that is the problem with you people. You always see, say, there are some certain things you don't even need to understand it. That is how it is. You take it like that. The reason why it is like that is the fact, say, if we are coming from gener a different generation. And that's what I say. So, you see, you see him and go not arguing about something. Not because he doesn't have anything to say. You see a Gen Z arguing about that thing. And at the end of the day, they feel like because they have something to say, so they have to say it. These are two different generations. So, you are saying that we should be belittled just because we are... So you, see, so, so you see what I'm talking about today. And then she'll come back and then put it in the word that, you see, you use the word belittle. Did I mention belittle here? <laughs> no, am I lying? Did I mention belittle here? No, I'm so you just see, you saying... Make, no, you make people... the conversation very difficult wait, and how for people to understand. Wait, wait, wait. No, I didn't... I'm trying to make... I'm, not, I'm trying to state a point here. I never use the word belittle. But you see, when you come and then you use the word belittle, it makes whatever point I'm trying to make... Oh my God. It makes whatever point I'm trying to make seems like at the end of the day, you know, you are, you are, I'm not making a point. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not saying because you guys you talk and all those kind of things, it means they are belating you. Why would you even think of that? You see. So that's what I'm saying. That you see, every word I say or everything I put out there, you always find something to say to always make it seem like if we are doing it, it, it is not good. You see, it is not let, good. Like let's say on <laughs> that, like the short short situation. Some people just like they are just pissed off, unprovoked. Do you get it? Like they just come and piss you off unprovoked. Even if you have to say, even if you decide not to mind them, they'll continue. That's the example like I was trying to. So you feel at the end of the day, when they provoke you, you feel you also have the right to also talk to them anyhow. Never mind. Let's Oh no, just stop. You feel you have the right to talk to like, them anyhow. And that like, is what you talk about, right? No, you understand what I'm saying. I don't know if the point about you make it. If it That's just, what you, no, you like think you, that is you right. will not understand as like you don't understand so no we, the reason why we try not to understand you is because of because right? you feel like you're older no it's because I, a typical example is what you are doing you understand so at the end of the day you know oh, oh, eh, somebody will say say yeah, you yeah, understand you yeah, you you because at the end of the day you know, when you guys are wrong and they are trying to correct you you feel say because and like that's what you come back and say say we know our right you have our right if you say because you know your right or you have your right you can just go ahead and do anything or say anything again you understand, and that is that is the that's the difference between the two generations. So there was a time that I was I was talking to one of uh, I forgot the name of the guy, but he's also quite popular. Guy. We're we're talking about this Gen Z Gen Z Gen Z uh, kind of generation, okay? And he made a very valid point that made me realize something. He, so he said, "See, the only difference between the the Gen Z and the millennials is that the millennials always have the sense to think, the Gen Zs don't." Oh, we do. Please. It's as simple as that. And you see. When he, when Don't he said forget that, that when I he said that, right I, understood, here. I understood that because at the end of the day, you know, you see, a mil before a millennial would take an action, he has he has already thought about all the possibilities that he needs or he she, she needs to think of. Gen Z people don't have the time to think about that. You go and do the stupid thing, and when the thing comes back to hit you back in the face, and then that's when you'll be looking for, for ways to, to come and say things that are not supposed to say. So this you brings me to that. my question. Do you think that you guys have bottled up a lot of emotions and then you are not able to, like, let's say mental health? I feel like 
we are able to say our feelings and like talk about how we feel more than you guys. You see, and you know the funny correct thing. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm correcting you. You know the funny thing. Eh. Hey. You see, you know the funny thing. We can we can go to we can we can do our research right now and then we we, we look at the rate at which that mental problem. Okay, the mental. We can look at the way I, I, at which the Gen Z, the rate at which Gen Z and the millennials are suffering from. Okay. We realize that the rate of Gen Z's having mental issues are very high. The reason why it's simple. You people are trying to grow up when you don't grow up. Do you understand what I'm saying? You put so much pressure on you that you don't even need to put that pressure on you. That is the problem. How many how many millennials are suffering and how many uh, uh, are suffering when it comes to mental Plenty. They are the ones even they call themselves bipolar. That's the way they call me. They call themselves bipolar. Oh, I'm having a, I'm, I'm, I'm bipolar. But it's a true condition. condition. I, I'm not saying it's not a true condition. Yeah, you see that one put it for you. Yes, because it any you because no, it's a real condition. We, yes, it's a real condition because people have it. Real people have that condition. They're saying that people who come out to say they're bipolar are liars. Some of them lie about it. The reason why they lie about it is that they come to do something okay, stupid. Bro. You understand what I'm saying? And then. When it comes back to oh, them, I know what you're talking out, about. Thank you very much. I like the fact that you brought it. You see, these are some of the things going oh, on. Oh, this boy. These are some of the things going on. And then you see them coming online and they'll be telling that, oh, and I'm suffering from I'm a bipolar kind of thing. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Don't do that. It might be true, though. We we have a No, you people, you see, I always want them to accept the fact that you have a serious problem. And the reason why I always want you both to accept the fact that you have a serious problem is simply simple. I'm not I'm not disrespecting any Gen Z generation. Like I told you, they are the far most the, the I, I call them ultimate. The reason I call them ultimate is because we're smart. They they have we, you can bring up one way of doing something and they can bring about seventy five ways to do that thing very good. I always say that because of course they are they are the new they, they are the newer generation, so they have their ways of going about uh, like about things and all that but when it comes to other as aspects you people should just understand that you are just not about it because of the fact that if you say at the end of the day you know let me not even say the word about it but at the end of the day it will sound disrespectful do you want to add anything to what you have said it seems like you use all your words i mean you have some more for us it's like like why it's like you want fighters like if you get like if Gen Z was like an object you just hit it and throw it somewhere. You know, my problem I don't have problem with Gen Z but my problem with Gen Z is I've always been the fact that we don't respect. I, I don't even talk about respect. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I don't even respect like talk about me. respect. I feel like the rate at which of they do themselves like me 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 is too much. And you know the funny thing when you compare Gen Z to millennials. Their jerseys even look older. Oh, they let, look very let's old. Not go there. I'm telling you the truth. I, you, you want to say something about yourself? No, a Mickey. No, but but they look very old. I, don't I was just saying no, like because of what like what he just said. It's like my brain has it has no, but that's the truth. somehow. That's the truth. Look how very can old. you even say you that? See, oh, I'm telling anyway, you anyway. You see a Z. I will not let you continue. But anyway, because you know what I'm coming to say. Truth. Anyway. <laughs> You see a Gen Z um, and then you see a No, 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 no. Where people say, nah, is this person older or is this person younger? You see, they look 24 and 79 and all those kind of things. I want to ask you something, but I definitely will not. Because I know your answer. So, well, ask me, let me answer. <laughs> so, I mean, like, clearly, you've seen from what is going on here that millennials, like, I, I wouldn't want to, like, generalize it because I'm sure they are genuinely good people who are part of millennials but just what i want to say is that i believe that gen z's are more aware and they're trying to learn from the mistakes of older generations and trying to make themselves better it's not about oh mini mini or gen z's are too no or gen z's are disrespectful yes there might be disrespectful ones yes there might be people who feel themselves or something but it's just more of being self-aware and knowing your way 